All right, so today we're going to be setting up the Clash Perk bot for your Discord. This bot will actually track everything for your Clash of Clans. Uh, it will track clan fee, clan stats, war fee, and CWL fee. But anyway, let's jump over to the video. We're going to show you how to set it up, add it to your Discord as a new user for Clash Perk. And then we're going to show you some of the features of it as well. But anyway, let's jump up here and install Clash Perk on our Discord. All right, so the first thing you need to do, of course, is go to clashperk.com. And this is where we're going to add the Discord bot to our personal Discord. So we're going to go to Add Discord. We're going to choose a server that we want to add to. In this case, we're going to add it to Cgamers Test. We're going to click Continue. And you're going to want to enable every single one of these features right here. So Authorize. And we got to check make sure I am a human. So I am a human. It's going to add that bot to our Discord. So now let's go over to our Discord. And we'll show you exactly what it looks like in there. So here we are inside of this test discord that we did. I created a channel called Clash of Clans for this bot. If you notice on the right hand side of here, we have a lovely bot called Clash Perk. So that is where we're going to be setting it up. And that is going to where we're going to set it up inside of this Clash of Clans channel. Uh, this server template that I'm using right here is from a great friend of mine, Gail Level. I'll leave a link to that video if you want to check up how to set up a really nice discord but this is the template that i got from him and now let's go ahead and set up the clash perk bot that way we can track all of our information inside of clash of clans okay so now that we've got the bot added to the server it's going to give you a nice little welcome screen. say greetings and it's going to start you through the setup process on how to add the bot to your discord uh for all the features and things like that but the first thing we're going to do is let's start with setup enable so what we want to do, we're going to go into our Clash of Clans channel. We're going to type setup. We're going to type setup. Enable. And then we pretty much just follow the steps all the way through as we go through uh, this setup process. So first thing we need to do is set up our channel link. We're going to go here. We're going to go our tag. So let's go to tag we want. So let's add our clan tag. We're going to choose our channel and this is where we're going to display the information about our clan for our discord so hit clash of clans because that's the server we the channel we want and then we're going to hit okay and it, we have successfully linked sigamers lounge to the clash of clans channel on this discord so very simply set up and easy that way so now we got to go back in here one more time and if we look really closely go back to chat real quick our uh, next feature is going to say is then link create command to link your Clash of Clans account to your Discord. So by doing this, it's going to allow you to add all of your accounts to your Discord. In the case right here, I'm using Ollie's base. This is in my Seagamers Lounge account. So let's go link. Let's go create. And then we need to add in the option for our player account to our Discord. So let's go link. We're going to go player tag. We're going to copy and paste it in there so that oops that is not the button i press excuse me so there we go that is ollie's base tag and now we have successfully linked ollie's base to c gamer on our discord there are a lot of other little features as well that you can go through that will show you you know your warlock all sorts of nice little things that will track everything inside of your clan inside of clash of clans so let's go through some of the activities as well uh, we'll show you exactly what they are. So you go through the list right here. There are a bunch that are available. You can add, you know, uh, our army composition link. We can show the attacks that have been created in, or done inside of the clan. We can add auto roles uh, to clan roles inside of our clan, inside of Discord. And we can auto row town hall. So if we want to have a particular role that we want to add to, you know, let's say a town hall 16 inside of the bot, then it will assign town hall 16 role to that clan and we got wars we got boost boost will actually show you what super troops your clan members have boosted as well and there are just so many different options inside of clash perks that you can take advantage of for tracking information inside of your clan and stop going in depth into a lot of different commands and things like that we're gonna go over some of the basic ones right here so let's just scroll down real quick and look through all the little options that we have so we've got boost, like I said, boost are just whatever super troops are boosted inside of your clan. So let's just say we want to get a clan summary and overview. So you're going to hit clan. You're going to go ahead and hit enter. 
it's going to pull up the information for you and there it goes showing you everything about your clan it shows you the information about your clan it shows you what type of clan you are in this case clan wars farming and friendly it shows the clan leader uh where that clan is located at the requirements invite only and also shows your war and league as well and your war log whether it's public whether it's not public war performance you know 134 wars uh one we've got 46 lost and one tied as well we've got a win streak of four uh in this case right here they it is currently inside of crystal league for cwls as well and then some of the other commands that you want to show, show as well we'll go through them also so let's just go some of the basic ones for example like cwl members it shows you a list of every member inside of cwl it shows you your cwl roster there it shows you cwl stats as well and you can have these things automatically set up whenever you set up a war it will show you who does war attacks what percentages they achieved on bases how many stars they achieve also whether or not they triple the base or not and all these different features are available by setting up clash perks inside of your discord so let's go down just a little bit more and we'll go through some more of the other things as well you can get a history option as well of all clan games capital raise donations and cwl attack history also also you can pull up a last scene so if your clan has inactive members that you want to remove it will show you the last time that this person has logged in inside of clash of clans there is that feature as well but after the seven day mark it just says they haven't logged on uh for a while so this right here will actually track how many days they've been inactive inside of clash of clans there are just so many features inside of the clash perk bot that i'm not gonna have time to go over all of them inside of this video but some of the little nice ones that we have are legend tag it shows you a legend tags for the day you can pull up what you did your war lineup as well you can choose your link list we can go with members as well so let's get a listing of let's just say heroes and war weight so that will give us a list of every single member inside of the clan and their hero levels and war weight so let's go ahead and enter and there we go right there i only have four members inside of this base so we had a town 13 it's got a level 30 barbarian king a level 46 archer queen a uh, level 22 grand warden and a level 7 rc then we have another town hall 9 with a level 19 king a level 24 archer queen another uh, town hall 9 that has got a level 23 a uh, barbarian king a uh, level 10 archer queen and then we have a town hall 8 with a level 15 barbarian king so a lot of really nice features that you can go through by setting up and using the clash perk bot to track information inside of your clash of clans uh clan for that matter but these are just a few of the nice features that are available by setting up and using the clash perk bot for your clash of clans clan there if you want to see another video about clash perk with a little bit more in depth going over some of the other in information and some of the other settings as well inside of clash perks let me know down in the comment section below but i hope you enjoyed this video be up set up clash perks for your clan as well we use it for uh, our dynasty clans it works really well we use it to track all of our cwl information we use it to track all of our war hits and war stats that way whenever we set up our cwls each month we know who has the highest war weight inside the clan their hit percentage as well whether you know they have one star or percentage of three stars as well but we could go through that in another video but until then much love peace out and we'll see you soon